What is up, what's up, what is up, FS Club? Welcome back to your channel, guys. Well, FS Daily News is back. I know we didn't do a video on this yesterday, but it is back today. And as you guys can tell, it is going to be changed. Even the order of stuff is going to be changed. Also, FS Daily News and new mods is going to be combined. And of course, timestamps are going to be below. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of this format. Also, if you guys haven't already done it, make sure you guys pin the comment section below, hashtag FS Daily News. You know what? Let's just roll that intro and let's get into that news. Here we go. Okay, so the first thing we're going to be starting off with today, which is something we're going to be doing probably for a while now, is we're going to be starting off with the testing list first. I know that is definitely going to be different. But in testing, on PC, we have the Agromet U417, the Iberian Southlands, the John Deere Gator 6x4 is in testing, so hopefully get that before Christmas. We have the KFMR Galat 8040 Alu, the Lamborghini Mach VRT, the Lizard Caster, the Lizard TPX 36S, the Lizard Z560, the Metalfax Z560, the Nordsten Lift Liftomatic, sorry, Real Time, the Single Family House 3, Sosnovka Placeable Pack, So Soluce Lizard, the Trail King 50 LP, the Under Leaf Spring, the WBM Diamonds 2000, which I did a first look on that. If you guys have not checked that out, make sure you guys do an amazing machinery. Then we have Waits Lee Normand. And then of course the last one on PC is the Wooden Shed. So those are the mods and testing on PC. On PS4 and Xbox One, we have the Biomass Heating Plant, Cutting Bar Set, the Dangerville PE32, the famed A Plows, Farmhouse, Field Shelter, German Road Signs, Goldcrest Valley Chicken Pen, Hay Shed for the Farm, KFMR Karak Galat 8040 Alu, the Jetta Plow, Lighted Candy Cane Pack, the Lizard 445 DTC, the Lizard FS62, Lizard LK Series Brazil, Lizard T150K, Medium pull through workshop with lift, old wooden shed, open cow pasture, the Petro Farm gas station, the Petro Farm cell station, the placeable fruit tree pack, Pottinger Toro combo line, Seasons Geo for Withers Farm, shed 15 by 19, Sosnovka chicken pen, SP dump trailers, street light pack, and yes, the TLX 9000 semi is in testing. VST Rook HY400, and last but not least is the Welcome to Blue Mountain Valley. Number mods we'll be testing is 74. Current answer to guys is four work days. Okay, and now let's get into the regular pieces of news. The first piece of news from approximately the 18th of December until the new year, Giants will stop working over the Christmas period. So do not expect mods or game updates or anything like that, even mods and testing lists. None of that's gonna be pretty much slowed down. So just gotta be patient when that happens and let them have their Christmas break just like all of us. Okay, the next piece of news is from Sid Mani and his update on his John Deere X9. He had this to say, today is another busy day. What have I done today? He had a normal map on the John Deere X9, creation of stickers for the 1000, 1100, animation completion, improved texturing, slots are 44. He's going to be trying to reduce it uh, from 40 to about 35 to 40, log errors fixed, reduction of texture sizes, new stickers added, and many more. Uh, this looks amazing right here. I cannot wait for this John Deere X9. Okay, and then after that, we have something from Polycount Modding, and this is a new forklift that will be coming. This is Toyota Geno 15. I know they don't have the brand, Giants doesn't, so I'm pretty sure this is probably going to be a lizard or something along those lines, but this thing looks nice nonetheless. Okay, and then after that, of course, we have some news about, of course, maps getting updated because of the Precision DLC that dropped yesterday. The first one we have is from GB Modding. He had this to say, working on it, which this looks like the soil map for, of course, his Six Ashes, which is an amazing mod. So there is that from GB Modding. The next one, Shaba. Shaba has been updating his stuff. He had this to say, updates on all my maps to fit the next factories and adapt them to the DLC of the Precision Farming. A mask of its own has been added to each map for its purpose. As you see, La Cronella 2.0. La Cronella also looks like the old farm countryside, which is an amazing map too. So yeah, those are going to go good with this Precision Farming DLC. 
We also have another map that's gonna be getting an update too. This is the West Newton console. What did this change? Let's see, fixed season hedges, fixed floating items, fixed vehicle sell points, fixed chaff and field two, tweaked reset point, changed milk sell point position, made sleep point sellable, and also added the custom soil uh, mass. So hopefully that does come up before Christmas. He has already sent that in. And he also had this to say, new save game is recommended. So if you're playing this map right now, I would hold off until this update does release. Okay, and then we also have some more news on other maps from TNT Monty here. This is to say the Blue Mountain Valley is in council testing and hopefully will be released this week. He added placeable factories to the map. It will not require a new save game. However, factories are not compatible with seasons. Also, Bucks County has gotten the new precision farming update incorporated into it. I am working with a few more little things before submitting it later this week. Uh, will not require a new save game for the precision farming, but if you want the little changes I made to some of the sheds and silos, you will have to restart. So there is an update on Blue Mountain Valley and of course is Bucks County. Okay, and now we have something from Missy B. She has actually three things that's been sent off to Giants. The Withers Farms, which is an amazing map. And of course, it's gonna have the placeable factories working on it. And I believe she also put the Precision Farming DLC incorporated into it. Also, Wash Station and the Withers Farms Shed Pack. So hopefully these do pass this week or into early next week. After that, we got something from Lancey B. Here, this is say new silage clamps done. I showed these a month or so ago. Wasn't really happy with the poly count, so I did some a little adjusting. New silage clamps. These will be coming out to all platforms very soon. And then now we have something from Custom Modding, something big. And this is an update on his Case IH 2150 Early Rise Planter Series. Remember, this will be coming out to all platforms here. This to say, hi, folks. We already showed the smallest, the 12R 30, 30 foot. We already showed the middle ones, the 16R 30, 40 foot. So it's time to show the largest in the 2150 series. As you know, we are already making this entire series of planters to 2150, and we already have at least one fully functioning within the game. With the completion of the John Deere 1870 and the CA50, you will see much more of this project. Uh, so here it is right here, the progress on it. Let's see, he's gotten done pretty much on the 30 footer. He's got the modeling, the UV map, the texturing, the Giants editor on the 40 footer. The modeling's done, the UV map's done, the texturing's done, the Giants editor's done, the XML's done, and it is in game. And of course the 60 footer, the modeling is done. They're gonna be starting the UV mapping on that. I can just cannot wait for this to come out. And the last regular piece of news for today is this right here. It's from Black Sheep Modding, and they had this to say, the ideal with the Precision Farming DLC, which you just can see is John Deere Gator 6x4, is hooked up to the, uh, of course, the tester, the soil sampler. So that is it of the regular news for today. We did get some new mods, so you know what? Let's head on over to the console, and let's take a look at these new mods. Okay, here we are on Xbox to take a look at all these new console mods. Let's see, console mods for today. We got the Mammute Bell Spike, the VSTR Platform, the Lizard M20, the Amazon DA25 Super, the Rabe MKE250, Pellet Box, Christmas Market Gingerbread, Christmas Market Beverages, Snowman, Gas Station, Refurbished Bunker Silo, and the Lizard 432060 Loader Crane. On updates for today, we got Suznovka, the ITS Winter Pack, the KFMR Apollo 10, the Multi Fruit Container, the Lizard Rumbler Van, Self Made Fence, and Rotoplastic Speed Mix 3000. Let's get into these new mods. Okay, and so here we go with the first mod for today. This is the Mammute to Bail Spike, which I actually could not find it in the tool section, so I just went to, of course, you know, the brands and just found it. But anyways, it is 1,600, it is seven slots. Let's see options on that. There is nothing, but look at the detail on it. Really nice detail. So that is the first mod for today. Okay, in which I actually found it is actually under the bailing section. But anyways, on the second mod now, we had the VSTR platform. Let's see, it is $20,000, it is five slots. Options on this one, you can change the main color to any color. So of course you can have it as chances pink right there. And then design color, let's see any color. So you can have it on two Sam's purple. So yeah, so we got chances pink and Sam's purple all together. Then rim color, let's go over there. If I can't, if it'll let me, there we go. And then black right there, that looks good right there. So there is the VSTR platform. Okay, and so the next one right next to it is the Lizard M20. It's $990, it is nine slots, holds up to 550 liters, and this of course can be hooked up to any of the pickups. Let's see options on this one. We got rim color, we got brown, gray, red, green, green, black, and white. Design color, I think pretty much the same thing, yes, and the main color should be pretty much the same thing. Configurations, we have nothing. You have barriers, you have nothing. So there is the M20. Okay, and so after that one, we got the Amazon DA25 Super. It is $11,000, it is under Cedars. It is five slots, does require 45 horsepower. 
2.5 working meters and this just does uh well seating no direct seating either let's see options on this one we got with without ridge marker with ridge marker and then without wheel setup we got standard we got wide tires lizard and then back to standard on that one Okay, and so the last, well, actually we got one more mod after this one, but this is the Rabe MKE250. This is 12,500. It is four slots, 2.5 working meters. This is a power harrow. It does require 75 horsepower. Let's see options. You got two bar roller, tooth packer roller, and then back to two bar roller on that one. Okay, the last regular mod for today, let's actually go under vehicles. Let's go under trucks. And there it is right there. This is the Lizard 432060 loader crane. $58,000, so it's not too bad on that. 240 horsepower and 19 slots. Let's see, options, we got main color, pretty much blue, khaki, light beige, dark blue, dark gray, gray, brown, and orange. Design color, you got gray, khaki, blue, dark gray, and orange. Bumper types, you got type one, you got type two. Uh, let's see, we'll set up, you got the 1260s, 1261s, the ID P284s, the OI 25s, and then back to 1260 on that. You know what? Let's actually take a look at this in game. Okay, and so here we are in game taking a look at this. Let's actually put up the help menu real quick. Uh, let's get inside of it. So the door does open. Uh, let's see options on this one. Unfold the crane, which puts out the... Oh, nope, don't do it right there. Don't do it right there. <laughs> I got to move real quick. Ooh, look at that. The fans moving and everything in there. Nice sounds. Top speed is 49 miles an hour. Okay, let's try this again. Let's see. Unfold the crane. So those come down the support arms. And the crane unfolds. So really nice. Let's see. Open cover. What does that do? Ooh, that opens up the hood. Okay. Okay. Uh, that moves the crane up and down. Horn. That extends it, and that moves the crane. Okay, so that is pretty nice right there. Okay, let me turn on the engine and let you guys hear this. I'm gonna be quiet so you can hear it. Okay, so there is the, in well, there's the sounds right there. Here is the interior, really nice interior. Let's turn it back over. Everything lit, lit up. Lights, turn signals, and instead of beacons, it has those three lights on the top right there. Let me actually fold this thing back up. Yeah, look at look at all the moving animations on this thing. The fans move in. Look at all that. Belts are moving. Jeez. Okay, let me go ahead and close the cover. Okay, here is the sounds when you're driving. Top speed is 49 miles an hour. Sounds like gear shifts. All right, let's go ahead and bring it back real quick. I like this truck. Really nice. And jump out. Did I hit it? Yes, I hate it. Dang it. Okay. But anyways, that is the Lizard 432060. Now let's get to the new placeable mods. Okay, and so the first placeable mod we got for today is the refurbished bunker silo, which includes two of these right here. They are four slots. Uh, let's see, 35,000. There is the refurbished bunker silo right open and the left open. Let's actually place one down real quick. Just put it right there. There it is. Oh, I like that. Really nice. Okay, so if we go into, can we actually put this help window on? Yep, compacting chaff. Doesn't look like it put a lot on here, but this will be good, of course, for your regular farm. Oh, and this one too. Okay, so there is one that is actually open. So we got three. So really nice little uh, bunker silo. So that is a refurbished bunker silo. Let's get to the next one, which is probably right in here. Let me see. Yes, there it is right there. It is the gas station, 72,000. It is four slots, $100 a day. Let's go ahead and place it right next to this. So there is the gas station. A lot smaller than that one we had, but it's still nice nonetheless. Okay, so that is gas station. Uh, the next one should be under, let's go over here. And then there it is right there, snowman. We're getting a lot of Christmas stuff lately. 
This is snowman it is $50. It is one slot. It is just a decorative object. So let's just go ahead and put it down. And there it is right there. Merry Christmas, guys. Okay, let's get to actually the next ones, which is more Christmas item items. Let's see, we go over here. And there they are right there. We got the Christmas stall income, the Christmas stall selling station, the Christmas stall, well, Christmas bread stall income, the gingerbread selling station. And I think that is it of that one. Then of course, we also got these ones over here, which that's the beverages one, which we'll get to those ones in a minute. So this one is the Christmas market gingerbread, which I believe includes one, two, three, four things, I believe. And you actually make income on them. Like you see right here, this one is $40 an hour. And this one is a selling station. So if we put this thing down right here, look at that, that looks nice. <laughs> but if we go into the store, let's see, gingerbread. Is it gonna be in the store? Let's see, Hollister. Oh, there it is, Xmas 2. So this takes, looks like your wheat, your barley, your oats. Uh, looks like your sugar beets, uh, sugar cane, uh, eggs. And I think that is it on that one. Uh, let me see if there's any other ones. Christmas stall income, Christmas stall selling station. So there's actually two of them. So I'll put this one down real quick. Uh, do they look any, oh yeah, they do look different. Okay. Uh, this one should be X, the regular Xmas one. Which this one actually sells, it looks like the same things. Oh no, it, do, it doesn't actually sell any of the uh, wheat, barley, or oats on that one. Okay, so that is the Christmas market gingerbread. Okay, and let's get to the next one, which is more Christmas stuff. This one is actually under decorations, like I was saying earlier. And there it is right there. This is the Christmas market uh, beverages. Uh, so we got this one right here, which is a decorative. The Christmas market standing table. Uh, the Christmas market gingerbread. And then, yeah. So this is basically just like a decorative version of those, it looks like. So let's just go ahead and place that in the table right there. I think that is it of that. Yes. Okay, so there is that, that, and there is the table right there, which you can actually pick up and throw. <laughs> okay, nice little Christmas mod. Uh, I wonder what these things look like in night. We might actually have to take, that, take a look at that as soon as this video is over with. Okay, and then we have one more placeable mod to go over. It is right over here. Let's go under miscellaneous, scroll all the way to the very end, and there it is right there. Wood chip sales is 35,000, is five dollars a day, it is four slots. So let's go over here. Let's actually place that real quick. So there it is. I don't think there's anything else in these. Nope. Sheds, nope, and animal pens, definitely nope on that. Okay, so this is the pellet box. So I believe you just sell wood chips here, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, let me see real quick. Uh, wood chips. There's the wood chips and the pellet box. So there it is right there. It does You do get more money for it though. So yeah, it says 175 for the sawmill. You get 238 for that one. So really, really nice right there. Okay, so that is it of the regular mods for today. Let's of course get to these updates. Okay, and so the first update for today is this right here. This is the Snovka. What did this change on it? Let's see, Digeste can now be removed from BGA. Slurry can now be removed from Cowpen. Add extra lighting to placeable and map buildings. Add a support for manure system mod at Pig and Cow Barn. Uh, added visual digestate overloading pipe at BGA. And small detail and texture improvements on that one. The next one, the ITS Winter. What did this change on it? Let's see. Added Calboucher STS 3000 for Sintrack. So that is for the ITS Winter Pack. The next one, the KFMR uh, Apollo 10. What did this change? All it did was change, well, fixed a few small issues on that one. After that one, the multi-fruit container, what did this change? Fixed collision issues on that one. After that one, the lizard rumbler van, what did this change? It added salt, so that was it on that one. Okay, and the next one, the self-made fence, added normal maps on that one. Like I said, the pretty fast uh, update list right here. And then the last one we have is right over here, which is the Rotoplastic Speed Mix 3000. Okay, and so here we go at night. As you guys can see, these things are lit all the way up. It actually looks pretty nice. Okay, so that is the new mods and updates for today. Let's go actually back to the computer. Okay guys, so that right there was all the news, the new mods, and the mods and testing for today. Well, hopefully you guys have an amazing Wednesday, and of course, hopefully you guys have an amazing week. Uh, today's schedule, after this video, no other video, no live streams until Friday. Well, anyways, if you guys did like the video, make sure you guys do pound that like button. If you have something, make sure you guys do, and let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think of this format. Well, 
Have an all-stay farmers. Peace.